In today's video, I have to survive 100 days as the Enchanter. And also, I have three objectives. First, craft myself the enchantment table. Second, build my very own secret base. And finally, find out who's been destroying my Minecraft world. Aww. Can I survive these 100 days as the enchanter in hardcore Minecraft? Keep watching and find out. So here we go, our journey begins on day one. And the first thing I noticed, I could see I was at this woodland mansion. And also, I found this chest, which contained some apples, some bread, and also some torches. I could also see that there was this enchanted book. And when I went to go and use this enchanted book, I could see it has given me more hearts. This was incredible. Anyways, I wonder what else I can find around here. So I went searching around the Woodland Mansion, and after a bit of searching, I found this room right here. And I could see that there was this other chest right here. And there it was, a totem of undying. Wow, I was now super happy. Anyways, after that, what I decided to do was to go around the mansion to see if I could find anything else. And surprisingly, I found myself a pickaxe and also some more torches. And I also noticed that there was this other chest which contained some iron axes. I'll be sure to take one of these. Anyways, now what I wanted to do was to go outside and collect myself some materials. So I headed to the nearest mountain and collected some stone, some coal, and if I was going to be surviving these 100 days, I would need plenty of food. So I took down some cows, collected up a bit of dark oak wood, and then what I decided to do was to make myself some leather boots. Now these should surely keep me safe. But then I noticed the sun was setting. This was not good. But then I remembered mobs didn't attack me and I would be okay. So I continued exploring and I found myself some iron. This was great. But then, as I left the caves, there it was. A village. I knew what I had to do. So I carefully made myself a way over to the village. And then I entered this villager's house and started attacking him. I wanted to get myself some emeralds. But then, as I took down this villager right here, there he was, the Iron Golem, and I almost got hit by him. That was close. And I could see I was trapped. I needed to get out of here. And as I made a run for it, I was hit by the Iron Golem. Maybe I shouldn't get that close to the Iron Golem again. So I switched my crossbow and started shooting arrows at the Iron Golem. And finally, after a few shots, the Iron Golem has been defeated. There's only one last thing to do, set the entire village on fire. So I made a flint and steel and set the entire village on fire. By the next day, all the villagers' houses were ruined. So what I decided to do was to take all their food and equipment. And I also found all the villagers' emeralds. The villagers won't be needing this anymore. And yeah, I don't think the villagers and the iron golems will be so happy to find out the entire village has been destroyed. Anyways, I finally make it back to the Woodland Mansion, and now what I wanted to do was to make some chests. And also, once I was at the village, I found this bell, which is quite nice. But I definitely think it's about time we go on a bit of a mining trip. So, I made some pickaxes and headed to the nearest caves. And you wouldn't believe it, after a bit of digging, there it was. Diamonds. Wow, I found my first diamonds. So I collected up all the diamonds and what I decided to do was to make a diamond pickaxe. I would need this for obsidian. So I happily crafted a diamond pickaxe and then I continued digging. And after a short amount of time, I found this mine shaft. Found a few pieces of iron, which is quite nice, and also some gold. But even better than gold, I found myself even more diamonds. And also, I found some lava. So, I collected up some obsidian because I'm going to be needing this for my enchantment table. Okay, it's time to return home now. So, I made myself a way up right here and headed back to base. But, on my way back home, I stumbled across this village. And I could see it was destroyed. This whole place was ruined. I wonder who did this. I definitely didn't do it. Just look at this place. Everything has been set on fire. Oh well, it's best I get home. So I travelled back to the Woodland Mansion. The next day, what I decided to do was to make the enchantment table. And there it was. Wow. But we definitely need some bookshelves. So I went searching around the mansion to see if I could find any bookshelves. But then I remembered that room I found earlier had some. So I decided to go and collect myself some bookshelves. I'm sure the illagers won't mind. And that should do it, time to go and check out what enchants I could get. But unfortunately, I needed a lot more levels. So I headed back to the caves and collected up all the redstone, which seemed to give me the most XP. But then I tried to make this jump and I accidentally fell straight into some lava. Yeah, quite embarrassing. Wait, diamonds? Alright, that should do it. That should be plenty of levels. So I travel back to base 
and enchant my diamond pickaxe, getting myself unbreaking free and efficiency four. But then, as I went to go and enchant my iron chest plate, out of nowhere, I was hit. And as I turned around, I could see this villager was attacking me. I couldn't believe it. He did some serious damage. But then, I could see the villager was taking down my friends. But unfortunately, there was nothing I could do. I needed to get out of it quick. And then, he started chasing after me. I needed to get out of it quick. So, I ran around the entire mansion, trying to lose the villager. But unfortunately, it wasn't working. As I headed downstairs, I turned around, and I could see the villager started setting fire to the mansion. This was terrible, so I tried my best to put out all the fire. But unfortunately, it was no use. In seconds, this entire place was on fire. There was no way I was stopping this. I needed to get back to my room. So, I sprinted through all the fire, and headed back to my room. But it got even worse. As I got back to my room, I could see my room was on fire. This was terrible. I had seconds to grab all my things. So I collected my iron, diamonds, and also I couldn't forget about my enchantment table. Okay, we got all our things. It's time to get out of here. So I sprinted for my life. But unfortunately, this fire was way too much. And then I got trapped. And I could see there was no way out. The only thing I could do was dig down. So that's what I did, and I have to say, that was very close. Let's hope the other illagers survived as well. So what I decided to do was to continue to dig down. What I decided to do was to turn this place into my base. And by the next day, here it is. It does look a bit empty right now, so I'll need to go and get myself some materials. Luckily, I found this cave. So I headed up and I went exploring. And luckily, as I was exploring this cave, I found some netherrack. I was a bit confused. And then I realized it was a ruins nether portal. This was great. So I collected up all the obsidian so I could use this to make my very own nether portal. Anyways, I continued to go through the caves and I found a way out. This was amazing. I could see I was at this forest, so I collected up all the oak wood and also some leaves. And finally, on day 17, get back home and start work on my very own room. And also, I would need some storage, so I built a storage area. And yep, that should be plenty of storage. Anyways, I got to work on the floor using some nice stone stairs. But there's one thing you can't forget, and that is decoration. So I added some lanterns around. And then finally, I place in the enchantment table and added some bookshelves. That's our room pretty much done. But unfortunately, I have not done this area just yet. And this place will need upgrading. So I just used some oak wood and also some more spruce planks. Added a few fences around, which look pretty nice. And yeah, this place definitely turned out very nice. As you can see, we've got some nice leaves. And also we got a bit of a lower floor right here. Not sure what to use this area for just yet. And over here, we have my room. Over here, we have our enchantment table. And we've got some furnaces over here and also some storage. And also, what I decided to do was to make a bit of a hallway over here. But as we come to the end of this hallway right here, you can see this place is not so decorated. Unfortunately, I kind of ran out of materials. Anyways, now what I decided to do was to find myself some more iron. I wanted to make myself a full set of iron armor. And as I was going through the caves, I found this mine shaft. And I also found this slime. So I went to go and say hi. Anyways, I went around the caves, collected myself loads more iron, and then surprisingly, I found this minecart, which contained a golden apple. I was super happy. But then, as I was digging straight down, I stumbled across this lush caves. So I collected up some moss blocks and also thought, why not go and collect some clay? I might need this for future builds. But then I found another diamond. I was very happy. And also I found this axolotl. So what I decided to do was to collect up the axolotl and there it is. We now got a pet axolotl. Anyways, I finally make it back home, smell up all the iron that I collected, and once I was waiting for all my iron to be smelted up, I thought why not build my axolotl her very own home. I made this place look like an underwater cave, which was pretty nice. Anyways, the next day, I went to go and check up on my iron to see if it smelted up, and surprisingly, it was. So what I decided to do was to make a full set of iron armor, and also thought why not make a shield? And there it is, we've got a full set of iron armor, but it's time to go and enchant it. So I went to go and enchant all my iron armor, Get myself protection one on all my armor, which was amazing. Well, the next day I noticed I was getting low on food. I needed a food farm. So 
what I decided to do was to make a very simple potato farm. Nothing special, just a place to get me started. So I placed it in some dirt, added some water and planted in some potatoes. So I collected up some potatoes and we now have food. The next day, now what I wanted to do was to go and see if the mansion was still there. After that fire, I wasn't sure, so I made some ladders and made a way up. And as I reached the top, I could not believe my eyes. I could see this place was still here, and everything was still on fire. Just look at this place. It has been completely destroyed. So I wandered around the mansion to see if there was any survivors. So I made myself a way up right here and I noticed off in the distance that there was this farm. I wonder what this could be. And as I went to go and investigate even more, I found this room. I could see that there was furnaces, chests and also this bed. I wonder who lived here. Just look at it. The mansion has been destroyed all because of that villager. I need to get my revenge. So the next day, I collected up all my things and headed out. I wanted to get my revenge for what the villager did. So I headed out across the lands until I found a village. And surprisingly, by the next day, there it was, a village. So I didn't hesitate and I rushed over there and started a raid. If they're gonna destroy my mansion, I was gonna destroy the entire villagers. So me and the pillagers, we went around the entire village, taking down all the villagers. And then finally, I took down the final villager. And there it is, all the villagers have been eliminated. So what I decided to do was to take all the villagers stuff, like all their furnaces and all their equipment. And as I entered this house, I found this chest and I could see that there was this enchanted book. And when I used this enchanted book, I could see it has given me more armor pieces. Anyways, it's time to leave this village and return back to base. So I finally arrived home and what I decided to do was to place down all the stuff that I found from the village. I definitely think it's about time we go to the nether. So I placed in all the obsidian and there it was, the nether portal. And as I headed through, I found this crimson forest. This was great. So I collected up some crimson wood and also found these stream lights. But then you wouldn't believe it, I found a nether fortress. So I entered the fortress and went around exploring. And surprisingly, I found this chest which contains some diamonds and surprisingly I also found some nether warts now, I would need these for potions but unfortunately you can't make potions without blaze rods so I took down some blazes and collected some blaze rods and once I was in the nether I also thought why not go and get myself some ender pearls that should do it five should be plenty so I get back to my nether portal and now what I decided to do was to make some eyes of ender I wanted to go and find the stronghold And surprisingly, by the next day, I found it. I found the stronghold. And surprisingly, I landed straight into the library. This was amazing. So I collected up all the bookshelves that I needed. As I was collecting up some books, I noticed that there was this chest, which had these enchanted books in it. Wow, now I'll definitely be sure to take these. But you wouldn't believe it. As I was exploring the stronghold, I found a second library. And this time, there was even more enchanted books. Anyways, I get home and make a load of bookshelves and then go and place them in. And the great thing was, we can now get level 30 enchants. Well, 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 the next day I could see my armor was pretty destroyed. I think it's time to go and upgrade it. I think it's time to go and find ourselves some diamonds. So I headed back to the caves and there it was, diamonds. Okay, that should do it. 53 diamonds should be plenty. So I return back home and make a full set of diamond armor. But unfortunately, there was one thing we was missing. We needed some levels. So I went back to the nether and collected loads of loads of levels. And I have to say, with that enchanted pickaxe, collecting these levels didn't take too long. Okay, that should be plenty of levels. It's time to return home and enchant all our armor. 
Anyways, I get home and sharp my diamond sword and also all my armor, getting myself some amazing stuff. Combined in my pickaxe with my other pickaxe to make the ultimate pickaxe. And there it is, we now got a full set of enchanted diamond armor and tools. And also, for why not make a lapis block for good luck. Anyways, I think it's time to go on a bit of an adventure, so I headed out and found this village. I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to test out my new sword. But then, as I was out exploring, I found this pillager outpost. So I went over there and went to go and say hi to all the pillagers. Anyways, I also could see that there was some dark oak wood, so I collected a few pieces. I'm sure the illagers won't mind. Anyways, I entered the outpost and headed upstairs. And as I got to the top, I could see that there was this chest, and I could see that there was this XP bottle, and also I noticed that the pillagers had these banners right here. So I collected a few. Anyways, I said my final goodbyes to the illagers, and I continue exploring. And I found an igloo. This was great, I rarely find igloos. So I entered the igloo, and I noticed that there was this hatch right here and as i made myself a way down right here i found this villager nothing special really but i did find this chest which had a golden apple in it and also found a brewing stand but that was it really there wasn't anything else so i left the igloo and continued exploring but then as i was exploring there it was a jungle i was looking for one of these i rushed over there and collected up some melons i would need these for potions and also found a bit of bamboo you never know I might need this. And then I found this giant tree. Anyways, I collected up some cocoa beans and also some jungle wood. I will need this for my builds. But then, as I was exploring the jungle, I found some pandas. I rarely find these. It was nice to find some pandas for once. Anyways, as I was exploring, I found this abandoned village. I could only see there was one house here, which was kind of strange, but there was a lot of hay. So I collected up all the hay that was here. But then, as I was going through this birch forest, I noticed something off in the distance, and I could see it was another woodland mansion. So I made a way into the Woodland Mansion and I went around exploring to see if I could find anything interesting. I found this room which had a load of trees, but there was this chest which had even more saplings in it. But then as I was exploring the mansion, I found this secret room. I had to go and investigate. And as I got to the very end, I found this chest, which had enough enchanted book in it. Now I'd definitely be sure to take this. Anyways, I went around the Woodland Mansion and I surprisingly found some more bookshelves. You can never have too many bookshelves. And also I found this chest which had a name tag in it and what I decided to do was to now collect some carpet. I would need this for my base. And that was pretty much it. There was nothing else at the Woodland Mansion besides this giant chicken. So I left the Woodland Mansion and I think it's now time to return back to base. But then as I was on my way back home, I could see there he was again, the villager. I needed to take him down. After what he did to my mansion, there's no way I could let him get away with this. I needed to stop him. So I chased after this villager. Finally, I was catching up to the villager. I needed to stop him. But then, as I went to go and strike, he turned around and hit me. And I went flying back straight into some lava. This is extremely bad. So I had my golden apple, and I needed to place it in my water bucket as soon as possible. But I couldn't quite reach. But thankfully, I was able to place it in my water bucket. And I have to say, that was extremely close. I can't believe it. I can't believe the villager got away again. I must stop the villager. Anyways, I finally arrived home, and now what I wanted to do was to name my axolotl, and I could see she was very happy. Anyways, I also wanted to do some building, so I cleared a massive space, and I wanted to build a library, and placed in a load of bookshelves, and decorated this place up, making it look like a library. Placed in a few item frames, to give it some detail, and also decided to make a brand new enchantment table, so I could place it in right here. And yeah, this place looks incredible. As you can see, we've got loads of bookshelves around, some leaves, a load of lanterns, and also these item frames, which definitely makes the place look a lot nicer. Anyways, I headed back to the nether and collected up some glowstone, and also thought, why not upgrade this area? This place is not looking so good. So I collected up some sand and also some gravel, 
so I could make some grey concrete and then I got to work on transforming this place. Placing loads of grey concrete and also these stone bricks. Added some stairs around and for the roof I added some quartz which looked pretty good. Also added this redstone lamp for detail and yeah this place is pretty much done. After building this place, I wanted to now decorate the rest of my base. And finally, here it is. As you can see, I added some flower pots with some bamboo and dark oak saplings. And I've also added this carpet, which goes all the way around. Added loads more leaves around and also some more lanterns. Added these concrete walls as well. And also decided to change up the hallway a bit. As you can see, we've got some dark oak wood for the roof. And if we make it to the end of the hallway, as you can see, we've got some dark stone bricks. Which looked pretty good and of course the entrance to our base as well and i also thought why not make a secret room and if we head down this hallway you can see it leads straight back to my room i'm very happy with this build Well, 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 now what I wanted to do was to upgrade my armor a bit. I wanted to give it some better enchants, but first I would need some more levels. So I collected up some levels, and as I was going through the nether, I found this bastion and found a lot of gold. Wow. And that should do it. That should be plenty of levels. So I get home and enchant some more armor. And then what I decided to do was to combine it with my other armor to make the ultimate armor. And that should do it. That should keep us very strong. But I definitely think it's about time we make some potions. So I cleared out a bit of space and made some health 2 potions, also some regeneration potions and some strength 2 potions as well. You see, I would definitely be needing this. So the next day, now what I decided to do was to upgrade the entrance of my base. As you can see, it's all stone. So what I decided to do was to go and find some obsidian. That would be a lot stronger. So I spent the next couple of days collecting myself loads and loads of obsidian. Okay, that should be plenty of obsidian. So I get home and place in all the obsidian. You see, I wanted this place to be very strong. You see, if the villager ever found my base, he couldn't destroy it. And finally, there it is. Our base is now complete. And I have to say, I think it looks amazing. But I mean, just look at this place. Look what the villager has done. There's no way I can let him get away for what he did. He destroyed the entire mansion and also tried to eliminate me. I can't let the villager get away for what he did. I must put it into this. So I collected all my potions, golden apples and equipment and I headed out. I needed to find this villager. I needed to go and get my revenge. But then by the next day, as I was traveling, I noticed something off in the distance that there was this forest that has been set on fire. This must be him. This must be the villager. I have to go and check this out. So I sprinted over there the fast as I could. And as I made it over there, I could see this forest has been completely destroyed. But then as I was making myself away through this forest, I noticed off in the distance that there was this pillager outpost. So I rushed over there the quickest I could. There he was, the villager. I knew he did this. I could see he has set this entire outpost on fire. I can't believe this. I must stop him. So I chased after the villager the fast as I could. I was not going to let him get away again. And then finally, as we left the forest, I could see this villager had an entire village. I needed to stop the villager, but there's no way I will be able to take him on. I needed to think of a plan. So what I decided to do was to make a trap. Now that should surely work, but I needed a place to make this trap. So I went searching around and I found this spot. And I thought, you know what? Here would be a fantastic spot to make this trap. But first, this place needs a bit of terraforming. So what I decided to do was to collect up some dirt and flatten up the ground. And then I started work on this trap. So what I decided to do was to dig a massive hole in the ground. So I dug all the way down to Deep Slate. 
But there's a few more things I need first. So I collected some wood and also collected some sand. Also, I would need some gunpowder. So I collected some. And also, villagers hate zombies. So I thought, why not push these zombies into this trap? And that should definitely scare the villager. Okay, it's time to set up this trap. So I placed in some TNT, added some signs, and then I added some sand. And that should be it. Now let's hope this works. It's time to go and confront the villager. So on day 100, I make it back to the village. I could see this villager has all these buildings set up here, but I needed to go and get the villager. So I carefully made a way over, and then I noticed the villager had a villager farm. This was getting out of hand. I needed to stop him. I continue searching for this villager. And then as I was walking right here, there he was. He jumped straight out of the never portal. So I rushed into this house the quick as I could so the villager couldn't see me. And then I went to go and use my spyglass. And I could see, yep, there he was, the villager. But then he started walking off. I could see he went to go into this building. I need to go and stop him. So I carefully followed. I can't believe he has a never portal right here. But then as I was approaching the house, I could see he was crafting something. This is not good. But I couldn't go and just attack him. I needed to wait for the right opportunity. But then I could see the villager was leaving. This was my time to go and attack the villager. And I could see the villager was working on something. So I attacked the villager and he instantly turned around and started attacking me. I needed to stop him, so I fought back. My armor was no good compared to this villager, but I must defeat him. So I sprinted as fast as I could back to my trap. Okay, this is it. Moment of truth. So I break the TNT and there it is. The trap worked and a villager fell. I can't believe it. We did it. We just defeated the villager. Anyways, it's time to get out of here. And there it is. We did it. We finally survived 100 days as an enchanter in hardcore Minecraft. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.